I'm Bob Emser, and I'm a sculptor boat builder. You can take something and adapt it. I mean, even Michelangelo and Monet and all of those historic figures adapted their ideas from sculptors and or painters before them. So it's actually a very long practice of artists throughout history. So one of the, the first things about the boat that I didn't like in the design was that when the, where the bow came here, it was just plain. So I've added this, this element. It needed something here. It looked just like cut off. And typically in, in um, boat building, this part of the, the, the bow, there's a piece in here called the stem which all of the, the um, planks then would meet that stem. In stitch and glue, it's just basically glued together. So uh, in putting this piece in here then, I think it, it kind of finished it. It also gave me the idea of how, how I'm gonna finish the boat in that from here down, will be painted a color. And then from here up, it'll be uh, what we call bright finish or the, the color of the wood will show. One of the things I'm going to, to fit today is something on the inside. When the seat comes in here, uh, I think this is pretty unattractive, the way there's a, an epoxy fillet in there. So what I'm going to do is add a piece of wood in here, at least down below where the seat comes, that will um, replicate what a traditional stem would look like. To, to determine this, the curve that's in here, what I've done is I've taken a piece of 2 by 4 that I've drawn some lines every two inches. So this is going to go in here like so. And what I will do is measure. Where that line is over to the edge. So that's four inches. So what I've done then is I've written four inches. So each one of these I've measured how far over that is and written that number down here. So that then will give me a measure where I can come over here. So if this one is four inches and I make it two, then I can make a mark here at two inches and then the next one a little bit less and a little bit less and a little bit less. So what I've got are tick marks here that represent that curve. So what I'll do now is take a small batten. Let's go over to the bench. So in order to get that curve, I will take this batten, clamp it on here, and then bend that over so that I kind of line up all of those marks. And mark it. So now I'll have a pattern that I can cut that out. So I already cut one. The interest in time. So this uh, is the curve. And what I have here is I took a, a couple of pieces of mahogany and laminated them together. Um, the boat is primarily mahogany, so I think that'll make, the, make it look a little better. So this um, curve then will go on here. And there's an angle at the top that I'll cut off. So then we'll take this to the bandsaw and cut it. And I want that to be about two inches wide. So about every two inches I'll come over. that same curve here. Okay, so we'll go to the bandsaw and we'll cut that out.
it fits. Hopefully it will. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So that will give us uh, a reference print. So then when we make the template for this seat, then we'll have this to, to reference by. So all I need to do is figure out how to get that to stick in there. Actually, it sticks in there pretty good. So in order to uh, design the seat here, this is a template for what the original seat looked like, and it was cut off right here. So what I would like it to do is to come up closer to the end to cover that up. So how I'm going to do that is I'll take a pair of scissors and I'll cut this off and kind of fit it in there. So what I want to do is to extend this template into here so that it comes in here a little bit so that it, uh, it doesn't just look like it's chopped off. So what I've done is I've cut a piece that is the same curvature of that and what I'll do is cut this back so I know that if I started about here, if I cut about four inches off of here, then it'll put me about where that stem is. So I'm going to give myself a little bit extra. Something like that. So now I can just tape that on there and I'll have an idea of this template then. Okay, I'm going to take this over to the bench and fine tune it a little bit. The back side of it is this kind of a gentle curve that I'll cut off there. This is a curve that was on the original seat. So instead of being one solid piece, I would like it to make it separate pieces, which is would be a little bit more um, in keeping with a traditional uh, boat building. So if I divided it into three pieces, it looks like I'm about a third, thirds here. That's about 34 inches. Almost exactly. And then I'm just going to connect these like so and see if I like it. That'll be the template for our front seat. So now I guess we should cut this out. So I bought this plywood a little nicer than what came with the kit which is a mahogany plywood. Uh, what came with it, I don't know quite what it was made of. So one of the things that I've learned in working is to have things in your shop that are all kind of the same height. So I have a couple of stools that are the same height as my sawhorse so that I'm able to use those as temporary sawhorses if I need to. So let's see if we can get this on here. Looks like we're gonna have to come forward a little bit to get it all the way. I have a couple of choices. I could cut one piece out and then cut it in pieces, or I could cut these as three separate pieces. And in the economy of wood, I think that's what I'm going to do, is cut them as three separate pieces. So the first one I will cut here. And add just a little bit to the end there, because I know It'll go past the stem and mark these two lines and connect them. The circular saw, gentle curves like this, you can cut um, with it. So, what we got here?
fits right on. So I'm going to use it as a template then for the other one. So these curves on the back here are a little tighter. So I think they I will cut on the bandsaw. Get a little better line on there that I can see. So, okay. So, let's see, be the best way to kind of temporarily put that in there, maybe with a... Well, I won't be able to put that in there without the notches cut out. I need to cut this like so. I can do these at the same time. Go over the drill press and I'm going to drill a hole here and then join those up. These on the band saw. should now match. Like so. All right. We'll clamp them together and see if it fits. See if it fits. Of course it's going to fit. <laughs> A pretty good fit. A little fine tuning and we'll be good. So what I'll do is continue this process with the, the center seat and the back seat. The center seat will be one solid one and the back will be divided in uh, kind of pie shapes like this also. In the next episode, we'll be finishing the seats and fitting the floorboards.